Hi, this is Amy, and I'm going to show you how to get started with your cereal box template. You're going to start right here. This is the copy that your teacher will give you, and you don't want to delete this slide until the very end because these are all your directions. So the first thing it tells me to do is to make a copy of this deck so that I can edit it, and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Make a Copy. Now, if there's somewhere special in your Google Drive that you want it to go, you can pick that. I'm just going to let it stay here in this folder, but you might want to pick a folder. And just remember, you can rename it. Just remember what it is you rename it and click OK. And so now we have a version that you can edit. So the second thing it tells us to do is to go to slide two and put your name at the top of the slide. So let's go to slide two. Here it is. And let's put it in. We'll say this is my name. Okay, so here we go. Here's my name. You're going to put in your name. Um, now I'm ready to go. So here's everything else it tells me to do. I'm going to create everything on slide two, but there's some rules. I can only use Google for images about my literary or historical character. And the reason for that is, is we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to not infringe on the copyright of other people's work. So we're going to make sure that we use work that other people have said we can. And the way we're going to do that is you have all of these links down here and all of the images here are images that the artists have said that you can use. Now there's a caveat. It is still the internet. So if you decide to be silly and search for inappropriate things, inappropriate things will show up. So it's really important that you're responsible and you make responsible choices so that you don't get yourself into trouble by making poor choices and searching for things you shouldn't search for. Okay. So this is your template and eventually what you'll do is you'll print this and you'll be able to glue it together and it will make a little miniature cereal box. So it's just totally blank. Nothing you put on any of these tabs will be seen. So all along the top and all along the bottom and then this one side tab, you won't see any of that information because um, that'll be glued. So you're really just focusing on this box, this box, this box, and this box. So just the four boxes in the middle are the ones that are important. Okay. So the first thing I like to start with is some background colors because I don't just want the background of my cereal box to be white. So what I would do is go up here to where it says shape. I'm going to pick a rectangle and I'll just trace over the lines that are there. I don't want to go over it because eventually I'm going to have to fold this and I want to know where the fold lines are still. So it's going to default to a color I may not want. So I can go there. I can also pick custom colors. Um, I'm just going to start with like a light color. And then you want to make sure that you pick the same color there. Um, and then the cool thing is, is that you can keep redrawing that. So now I have some nice background color and I'm ready to get started with my designs. Now, the way I'm going to do my designs is I'm going to find things on the internet. I'm going to use all those different resources that we talked about right here to put them in here. So I'm going to go grab a few things and then I'll come back and talk to you a little bit. All right. So as you can see, I have a few images here. Now I have a problem with one image because it has this white background and I really don't want it to have a white background. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. Um, what you'll do is you'll go up here and you're going to click on this first link that says remove.bg and it's going to take you to the remove BG website and you're going to select a photo. Um, you have to go find whatever photo it is. So here's mine. Click OK and it's going to prep it for us. And then it gives us the image without the background. This checkerboard is a universal symbol for it being transparent or see-through. So then I'll just click download and it will download to probably like your downloads folder. And now you have a background, an image that doesn't have a background. So you'll just go back to your image here. And I'm going to go insert image, upload from computer. I'm going to go to my downloads and there it is. And see now I can have this figure without a background. So I'll get rid of this one. Okay. So I really liked um, these balloons. I got these from Pixabay. So I can just grab different tools to manipulate them. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Um, there's all sorts of really cool things you can do. Okay. So there's my background. And then I want to put her on it. Now let's say for some reason I wanted her behind this. All I do is right click and I go to order and I can send her backwards. So if I send her backwards, she ends up behind the balloons, which is not where I want her. So I'm going to go to order and I'm going to bring her to the front. So there she is. And let's say that I just want, um, 
I don't need all of this character, right? I just want the top half of her, so I can just double click like that. And then I can just crop her, right? So here she is. And let's say I want her facing the other way. All I have to do is just pull it out the other way, and then there she is. You can just keep working that way and keep adding things that you like or you dislike, whatever you want, um, until you're finished. A tool in here I want to show you, let's say I want this background to fade away. I don't want it to be as bright. So I can, what I can do is just make sure I'm copied it and go to right click. And then if I go to format options, I have all of these image options. I can rotate it. I can change the position. I can recolor it. So see all these different filters I could apply. Um, I can adjust it. And so transparency, watch what happens when I play with the transparency. Do you see how it makes it lighter? It makes her pop out more. Isn't that kind of fun? Um, I could make it brighter. There's a lot you can do. So it's up to you. Um, and you also can manipulate the figure as well. So I'm going to do format options. Same thing. Make sure I'm clicked on the person. And I could recolor her, could make her black and white. Um, there's also another option down here that I really like where you can add a drop shadow. So watch this. See, watch her. See how she just has a little shadow? It's not nice. And I can change the color of the shadow. I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever I want. I really like it. So I'm going to make it, if I angle it more, and see how the shadow changes. I can do a blur radius, right? However I want. So there's really cool options. And the way I got there, again, is I just right click and I choose format options, and that will appear. All right, so here I am, I'm all finished. I have my cover, I have my nutritional facts. If you wanted to go in here and change these to be silly, you totally could. I have some facts about my character, and I actually have a quote by my character, and then in my particular book I read, New York City, is really prominent so I included a New York City skyline over here so you can see I have all the things that I need I'm totally finished and my name is on it so now it's already saved to your Google Drive but we want to make sure that we can print it so what you're going to do is you're just going to go to file in your directions sorry show you how to do this right down here you're going to go to file and you're going to go to download and you're going to choose PDF document and it's going to go to your Google Drive um, or to your downloads folder. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and go find it and it's going to be a PDF so we have to go find that. This is mine. Double click and it's ready to print. So now you can go through that with your teacher or your teacher might print it for you and you're just going to go to file and print. Now when I go to file and print I like to make sure I have this one clicked right here where it says fit um, because that's going to make sure it shrinks to fit the print properly and I'm going to choose which page I want to print and I only want to print page two because that is where my image is right the directions are page one I don't care about that right so and you need to make sure you choose the right printer and all of that kind of stuff and then you'll print it and your teacher will help you assemble it and you'll have it ready to display so that's all there is to it um, I really hope you enjoy making the project have a great time